Hercacy EX Sandler. Welcome back to uh, Tom Plays EU4 for absolute beginners. We're back with the Ottomans. Um, yeah, just fought a whole bunch of wars, had a whole bunch of rebellions. So basically, going to be recovering, putting the rebellions down. Trying to rebuild. Hopefully, made rebellions a little less likely by hitting the government screen and making Serbian and Armenian cultures accepted and promoted, I suppose. Not sure if that's going to stop the Serbian rebellion that's apparently going to fire. But we'll see. We will see. So yeah, first things first, let's just get this back under control. In fact, <laughs> what am I even doing? Might as well just split up. Certainly may as well speed up. So if we're gonna be making another move militarily until we've started gaining some manpower again. Honestly, the attack on Venice we just did was a bit earlier than really intended. I'm really hoping that vassal would have cleared out that area. Never mind, I will go and do it myself. Do you know we're about to finally put down the Separatists? Unfortunately, yes. I had high hopes on the Separatists, but never mind. So while we're doing this, the annexation of Cyprus is going on. Alright, we've lost our claims on Genoa. Oh, that's fine, I'm not in a big hurry. Nice so it would be to join these lands up. They've generally been friendly enough, they've been good enough about letting us cross the lands as needed. So, it's not really a big problem. Okay, a military. Right, we currently have 9.32 ducats a month. That's unfortunate. Okay, if I go for the plus three military advisor who does land maintenance modification, will, will he pay for himself? There's only one real way to find out. How's it looking? Not great. Okay, never mind, Ferrara wants military access. So our options are probably going to be, well, basically, Getting rid of Haran Ishak. However, we do have a fair bit of money at the moment. Okay, so. Military ideas. We absolutely must not go for this. This defensive idea, because we need to get our technology up. The administrative idea, on the other hand, I think we can reasonably go for. And we probably don't need it we get to really have a loan. Okay. So that's another option for the Serbian uprising actually. Gergiu and oh the Serbians have gone. So Wallachian separatists are probably going to rise there. Now, if I actually put my army there, they might be less likely to rise up. On the other hand, they might just rise up and crush my army. Who knows? And separatists. Oh, they're back. Those wonderful Crimean separatists. I was really hoping they'd gone to. <laughs> I was really hoping they'd for any had taken care of them, and I just haven't noticed. 
Well, never mind. I think I might persevere with the siege now. There was actually an option for autonomous rebel suppression. I'm guessing that probably means they follow them around though. Following diplomatic insults, Karakionlu. Oh, now this is nice. So if we ease the tension, we get a much more positive opinion of us from literally, well, nearly everyone around us. Which is perfect if you want to vassalize people. Unfortunately, I don't think we have anyone around who is really eligible. Unless the knights are. No, we own their core provinces. That's not likely to happen. We really should try to get some of these islands away from Venice at some point. Still, they're drastically weakened, so we probably don't need to worry too much. Um, Genoa. Oh, they're fine. Astrakhan's already over. Oh, no guy. No guy's heavily damaged. to vassalize them. Sunny. Despite having fought them in a war. So if I stop relationship improvement, because I think I was... No, oh, right, I'm in a position to annex them already. Right, okay. Let's just see if we can vassalize the no guy. So, what are we going to need? Right, we're going to need an alliance. Quite hopeful because they fellow sunnies. We need an alliance. And to offer them military access. I didn't realise that the no guy had been uh, reduced so heavily. Just where they try and drag us into a war to reconquer all their lands now. But we'll see. We'll see. Can we do a royal marriage? I think we can. Perfect. Probably be able to do this just by improving relations. It's great. It just slows us down on the annexation for a bit. Well, that's fine. I see our manpower slowly building up again as well. I think we lost an entire army in the last battle. So we're going to have to rebuild that. Is Siege still going on? No. Okay, so at least that Siege is done. So, in case this fires, I might just bring these guys back to Constantinople. Because it's at least a bit more central than where they are now. Ooh, what have we got? Humble engineer. It's pretty good. So we can gain a military engineer who's less expensive. Oh, we get improved defensive. Well, that's not very useful. So let's, instead of our current free engineer, we'll take this new guy. Save us a lot of money with an option to go into the plus three discipline. Go up a technology. So we'll at least be on a par with the Mamluks. Oh. So we do need to take this province back first. And we can start improving relations. And there you go, the Walkian separatists. So it has kind of backfired. Of course, I believe his arm is about to die as well now. <laughs> They're not doing badly, to say how badly outnumbered they are. It's a shame we didn't manage to build up their numbers a little before this happened.
Okay, we lost. We lost. Which means we're still going to need to put that rebellion down. So. Fourth of November. It's not far to go. What we could do with doing is building that army up. So if I just make a whole lot of infantry. Yeah, that's fine. And I will bring this army over. This is now going to become our second army, so we want to make it equivalent to this one. And then we want to start work on the third army again. So, yeah, definitely want to improve, increase speed. I see we've now entered the 16th century, the birth of colonialism. So this is a new institution. So we really want to be focusing on technology. so that when this new institution becomes a big problem for us, we can spend a bit of time getting ideas which don't cost any more when you're behind on an institution. What kind of separatist is this Crimean again? They're going to come back, aren't they? They're really going to come back. Right, where's the closest I can get? I can go there. That's pretty close. Really gonna have to put these separatists down. Cannot put it off any longer. Is there anything else we should be doing? What about buildings? Is there anything... Oh, we can build manufacturers. Oh, well, they're probably a bit beyond our price range. We are, if you remember, supposed to be trying to build a treasury next. So in a sense we should avoid spending anything. In practice we're really going to need to build our armies up to have a good chance of taking on the Mamluks. We have finished annexing Cyprus. Brilliant. In which case it is time to annex these guys. Ooh. No, that's there a vassal. There's no guy I'm trying to vassalize, isn't that? And the Janissaries are making trouble again. They want us to compensate them. Of course they do. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Okay, carry on converting people to Islam. Sunni Islam specifically. Now what I should have been doing is sending this on a trade mission. So we may have more options now. We had... I can't remember where our last one was going. I might just find them. Okay, so you guys are currently doing Ragasa. Okay. So in that case, I think our best option is probably Aleppo. I mean, technically our best option is still Ragusa, but I wouldn't mind diversifying slightly. So in effect, they should make more money even counting their own upkeep. Which is great. Apparently Kazan now has Great Horde Separatists. It's not the Great Horde, that's Muscovy. I guess the Great Horde no longer exists. Fair enough. Right, okay, so, military. Let's move them here because they're just over the border. So we have got 21 infantry, 4 cavalry and 2 artillery. These guys have got 10 infantry, 1 cavalry and 2 artillery. So we need to start with 4 cavalry. Not 4, 3. 3 cavalry. And then we're just going to need a hell of a lot of money. Blocking peasants, okay. Truce of 
because then it is over. One good thing about this is hopefully our aggressive expansion is dropping enormously as this is going on. So we'll no longer be scaring everyone. Ooh, what's this? Great naval reform, sell him the first. The army instead is an option. We will pay less for ships. I am absolutely up for that. Even though it's going to send us into debt. On the plus side, our administrative idea bookkeeping does mean we have reduced debts. So, it's not actually as bad as it would have been. Did we not have a better general? Yeah, apparently the better general is assigned. Is fascinating because I thought I only had one other army. Ah, no. No, hang on, that still doesn't make any sense. Getting the Cyprus army. Oh my goodness. Wallachia declared war on Poland? Okay. That does seem completely insane to me, but... What would I know? Who's this? Oh. I just thought there were only three of those. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. I just would really like to know where my other general is. So I've got a general there. And a general here. Ah, I see. I'm being daft. Never mind. Right, so we've got a better general, and we do have greater numbers now. So hopefully we won't have too much problem putting down these separatists. Apologies to Montenegro. And we've got some kind of request. Military access from Switzerland, no problem. Apparently the knights are making claims. Crimean separatists are still vaguely wandering around. That's fine. I'm going to build a ton of infantry. Up, of course. Now I see it. I'm actually surprised that Mamluks haven't attacked us yet. I suppose they're too busy making inroads into other people. What have we got? Trade guilds and fraternities. Ah, right. Okay, so we can say it's acceptable, we gain prestige and move towards legalism, or we cannot interfere. I think I'm going to say, oh I see, local guilds were with too much influence. No, I don't think so. I think so, there's only one great power in the Ottomans, and that is the Sultanate. Thank you very much. Generally good, so let's speed time up a bit. Of course they have. Okay. As always, you speed time up and millions of things happen. Move you guys back over here. What's going on over there? The insurgents again. Can't get rid of them. 
Uh, now, now is a good time for technology. Let me just pause this. Ericsson character. It's fine. Okay, apparently I just accepted that without meaning to. But it is Bohemia, so I'm a bit more inclined to anyway. It looks like they're fighting Poland and Bavaria. Poland, of course, is a country that I really, really did not want to fight. Which is unfortunate. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. Apparently... Lithuania isn't in this fight? Here, that Lithuania is no longer tied to Poland. And everyone's attacking Poland, so perhaps Poland is not the great military power that they normally are. I'm not actually sure if I can get to them though. Uh, apart from possibly Lithuania, everyone there is my enemy. Pretty much. Try and improve relations with Lithuania, I suppose. But other than that, I might not be much help to Bohemia, unfortunately. Although it sounds like Poland is being torn apart by all the surrounding countries. So maybe... I don't need to worry. Occupied by Krakow. And Krakow seceded. <laughs> Sorry. Fascinating. I used to Poland being the main threat to the Ottomans. But apparently, not this time. This time they're in big trouble. Okay, I think, as well as anything else, we've now got two identical armies. Or nearly, which is brilliant. So I guess our next move is to build the armies back up. I will try to improve their situation. It's possible that Poland will actually request military access to attack us. Oh, who's this? Poland. There we go. Okay, so we still can't attack them. Well, lucky I don't trust us enough. Oh, apparently Hungary will let us through there. So we could go through Hungary to attack them. On the other hand, these guys on our border, maybe we should just defend ourselves. I don't think Bohemia is going to have any problems here. Realistically. Obviously not wanting to be a poor ally to Bohemia. Now we're doing money-wise. We're still making a profit. So... We have... I do need... To pick the up. They're going to be the core of my third army. If that's too fair, with this annexation going on, I might end up with another army. You never know. Also, I might get rid of this castle. Actually, that might be a mistake. I was assuming Kissing Kafer had one. But it's possible that's only because it's their capital city. It might disappear when we annex them. We will find out. It's not a big deal. Our options at this stage, mostly recruitment. And that's great, but I'm kind of wondering if I should get the technology while I still can. Even though we're a bit ahead, I might do the national ideas next time. It would be nice to get a national idea for diplomacy, really. I 
Okay, so assuming we're not needed, which I don't think we are, does make me feel like a slightly bad ally. But I think we can afford to just... Sit back and watch for now. Oh, Avari is joining in. Well, that's good. That is the other advantage of having vassals. They will sometimes fight the battles for you. So, even if you're not doing much yourself, you still feel like you're contributing a little. Right, we need to start building this additional army. Let's just start off fairly small. I don't know what mix of troops I might get from the annexations. So I don't want to max anything out. Oh. And it's apparently free Monarch points time again. So, grant monopoly charters, demand diplomatic support, seek support of the clergy, demand administrative support, call the diet, demand military support. Perfect. Okay, we gain the technology immediately. And we've lost our plus three advisor. There is an other plus three advisor who does yearly prestige. Or we can do yearly inflation reduction relatively cheaply, which admittedly is quite tempting. I might do that. If only because I think as our armies get bigger, we're also paying more every month. So we might find we can't afford that advisor. We're also getting closer to our limit again. So, what have we got? Let's head down to Adana. So the idea is because we have three major areas that we tend to attack and conquer as the Ottomans, we should have three armies, one for each area. We'll technically tend to need to borrow one of them when we're actually launching an assault, but the other one can act as backup for uprisings or unexpected attacks or people circling round or coming in ships. So hopefully we'll only be attacking with two armies at any one time. Is the idea. Codify the Ottoman laws. That sounds good to me. Why not? Why not? And we want to be legalist anyway. That we should be full on legalist now, I'd reckon. Uh, yes, you can have military access, no problem. So can you. We have, so these are the bon benefits from being completely legalist. Not bad. Not at all. Are we still defender of faith? We are. Still only have a prestige of 68 though. Although it does decay over time, so it's not easy to keep it up. Legitimacy isn't bad. We're looking at here Bosnian separatists again. Ragusan separatists this time. The Georgian separatists. Right, well, at least this time we should have an army somewhere near wherever they rise up. There we go. So this time we'll just head straight over and put them down. <sighs> Generous terms, ruinous rates of interest. Yes, it's uh, terrifying. But I'm not complaining, that was actually a good thing. So we actually have three loans right now. Which to be fair is costing us a certain amount of money, so it's definitely worth getting them paid off as soon as we can. But on the other hand, we do need to build our army up. Slightly more urgent. And now then, no guy. Are you ready to be vassalized? I do believe you are. However, we are no longer improving relations with you. So where's our other diplomat gone? 
A spy for the Mamluks were annexing a vassal. Prove relations with Lithuania. I wanted to see if I could get access to attack Poland, which I now probably could, but I don't think I need to. Especially since my vassals are kindly doing it for me. So, no, let's vassalize no guy instead. Yep, yeah, no problem. No problem at all. You guys are now a vassal. I suppose I can annex you, can I? Hmm. Might be able to, actually. Might have annexed. Oh, uh, what's next? Build buildings. I don't really want to do that. Or rather, do loans. We have crushed the separatists. Go back to Georgia. Oh yeah, we're still technically at war, aren't we? Just not having to do anything about it. Poland have made peace. There we go. Excellent. Should give us a boost to our relationship with Bohemia because we stayed by their side throughout the war. Speaking of which, I might just improve relations with Karakuyumlu because I want them to join us in attacking the Mamluks. Right, so we're ultimately going to need four cavalry, two artillery absolute ton of infantry so what I'm thinking is let's just get more infantry we've got room for how many more 11 more right, can't get that many at the moment who's this Shahin Alton how full oh I see he's one of the Crimeans diplomatic reputation Your power holder. 50% cheaper? Then I don't really need diplomatic points that much. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. And to be fair, diplomatic reputation is always worth having. No doubt we'll be forced to get rid of him before you know it. It will have nobles upset that he's. Crimean in a position of high office. Right. Four, five, six, seven, eight. A bit more respectable. Hopefully we'll be able to get this to the point where we have three identical armies and we'll then start trying to stay up to our military limit. How are we doing navally? Well, I think about it. Got room for one more ship. So if we build another galley. Make our navy a little more powerful. I think that probably is it. Finished annexing his and Kaifa. He's great. Oh, we do still have a castle. Brilliant. So I didn't make a mistake doing that. And we can actually now annex them. The reason I'm annexing Avaria so soon is because I've got one too many diplomatic relations. Oh, not two too many. Because we've got um, military access through Genoa. And that apparently counts as a military relation. Which seems excessive okay <laughs> right I think I will get rid of that one so I'd completely forgotten that asking someone for military access actually counts as a diplomatic relation so I think we will cancel that as soon as we have some diplomats which at the moment we apparently don't which is fantastic just what I wanted to hear Never mind. Never mind. Okay, Ragasan separatists. Not surprisingly, Ragasan. 
so we just send along the army to take them down. We have gained professional officers, which means we've also changed our infantry to the Janissary infantry. Everything else is pretty much the same. But I think it does mean that we're now officially ahead of the Mandoks. also in a position to start fabricating claims. Awesome. Right, so Ant Antakia. Hello. quite like solidifying the land a little. It's really going to be a problem though, like we wouldn't have to fabricate these claims if we'd finished the mission that would have involved taking land around here. Unfortunately our allies on them. So as long as we have Karaki only as an ally, we're just not going to be able to do it. Which is a shame, but never mind, it'll be fine. Okay, so our army has taken them down. Not quite as easily as, as I was anticipating. Oh, it's because, yeah, that was my fault. Yes, it was because I had a change to my troop types. And I foolishly did it just before they entered a battle. I'm actually lucky they didn't lose. So, very foolish of me. Never mind. Right, okay, so I think we've actually gone over yet again. But not by as much as we sometimes do. There are going to be Georgian separatists soon, so I may be trying this army out sooner than I would think. Do we still have three generals? We actually can. So if I give him a general already, I can't. I don't know, enough military power. Never mind, we'll think about that next time. So, not a huge amount going on there. Possibly too many forts here. But we've kind of solidified our control. We technically supported Bohemia as they took land from Poland, at least our allies did. We discovered that Poland is apparently being torn apart which is uh, almost depressing, but at the same time quite a relief because I think Lithuania is more friendly towards us. We might even be able to ally them at some point, so we should look at that. We've almost reached the point where we built our armies up and just holding off while we annex Avaria. We'll add their army to our army and then even them out. And then hopefully next time we can look at making our first attack on the Mamluks be our first time attacking someone of comparable power. Slightly scary. Especially if they have any dangerous allies. Looks like Tunis is an ally who admittedly are quite dangerous. We really could do with Karaki on the one board for this one. Certainly for the first attack. So we'll see how it goes. But that's it for this week. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.